you see how news travels? That's because you're a collective. If somebody said, look, there's a, something crazy happening, it would eventually get to the other side of the, of the, of the farm that you're on. And there's a lot of people on the farm right now. And you are eating food that I can drag across the water using only a magnet. It's all your pasta, rice, flour. It's, it's all your food. All your GMOs are, are genetically modified to genetically modify you into a new type of human. The next version of the human. You're going to be turned into a human point, whatever, 7.0, whatever version uh, program that, look, you watch your TV programs, you're being programmed, you go to school, you put a cube on your head, you've been programmed specifically to fall into a playing field, okay, the symbols are rubbed in your face nonstop, so when you see this, you know, like the Freemason stuff, you're seeing the sine wave, it's a sine wave, you see the Jesus face, it's a sine wave, you see the dollar sign, it's a sine wave, it's all pointing towards the word of God, and this is your God, it's your genetic makeup, it's the four-faced God in charge of your four-letter DNA, they call it Yah, Yahweh, and your molecular makeup is exactly that. It's clear what's going on here. So, if you really want to get this computer to do something for you, you can put your blood into it. This is transcends all the dimensions. It, it's the symbols are right there. <clears throat> the World Wide Web, okay, is the computer. You're linked to the computer. And you have power to, to, to mold this playing field if you want to. When I put my blood on paper and put it into the computer, that everybody should do like what I'm doing is spill your blood over your intent because only the devil hides his intent. Everybody knows that. You can't not know that. Everybody knows only the devil hides his intent. Okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. So by placing your blood on a piece of paper in the capacity which you see by typing in the videos, blood over intent, you'll see. Just write out, I intend to worship all. I intend to usher in heaven and earth. Put three drops of blood on it because three is the cube. That's why you put over a number of three to make it cubed. It's because you need three uh, directions to make a cube. You need to be going this way, this way, and this way to make a cube. That's the three. So, <clears throat> what I'm telling you is that what I've noticed is that people would call this magic. When you go to church and you take the body of Christ and the blood of Christ, you're taking the body and the, the of this. Christ is, you can't see it, it's Saturn. Jesus is a little Zeus, all right? People like to say, well, no, there's a real Jesus. Well, listen, if you're part of a bigger thing that you think you are, then I would imagine that you were here as, a, as an extension of that, and you're supposed to be acting like it and worshiping each other because everybody's sleeping. So you hate everybody that's sleeping around you, and you've forgotten who you are. I know who I am, and I know why I'm here. I'm here to tell you that you could take control of this computer system here by placing your blood into it and showing the computer... Uh, Look, you're on a farm right now. You're in a machine, okay? You're a holographic projection, okay? There's probably a semi-solid world around here that we're projected onto, okay? We get our energy from the sun, so there's going to be everything that we're a part of in here is being kept down by this word or this frequency of harmonics that's keeping you forced down into this cage. And when you get free of your body, you're not out of the cage. To get out of this cage, people, you have to go out through the indoor, and the indoor is right there in your heart. It's where there's a star at the very center of you. Your third eye is your eye of Horus. It keeps you connected to this system here. So by opening up that uh, third eye, you're actually connecting yourself with the computer. And look, who can say what's bad or what's good? That's your perspective. Uh, evil doesn't actually exist. That's just the way you see it from the position you're in. If you were born into their side... You'd be eating people too and drinking blood, whatever. You wouldn't. You wouldn't think it was that was that was normal for them. Okay, that's how they survive here on this plane. To do look, they say humans were created to mine gold. So let's say there's a semi-solid world here that we're projected onto that we're kept in these bodies to do work. So they say humans mine gold. There's only one gold planet they show you, which is Saturn. So let's say, for example, that. You're this program running on the matrix right now. And you just do whatever you do like normal, but you're doing it for worthless paper. Okay, you got to live, don't you? And you're going to use worthless paper. So everybody's doing all this work for worthless paper that's backed by our stupidity while they're taking all the gold from this little piece that we're all trapped on. How, could, how is that making you kingly? That you're living better than everybody. You're, I don't get it. 
how people don't get it that you would bow before your king who could hang you or tell you you can't shoot the deer, you're going to starve, or you're going to be pulled into our military, go up to wars that are just for us to profit and just to thin you out, keep you dumb. But look, the knowledge could have been handed down over the years. That, that knowledge has been kept from everybody. Basic yeah. shit. Yeah. Yes. I'm telling you as a devil, I've disgusted at what I've seen. But at least I could see it. And, you know, you have to, for you to know where you're going, you have to see where you came from. I could see where we're coming from. It's all. I can see where we're going from. And it ain't got nothing to do with money, worship, or advice. It's about eternal life, forgiveness for your filthy soul, passage in the garden of Eden, and the power to come back here and release everybody you suggest you hold dear, you know, you know, from bondage. And if you say they're not in bondage, go look at your fucking birth certificate. It's on bonding paper. It's got a fucking bonding number. It's got borders on it and shit. You're categorized and it's got to be notarized if you get a copy of it. You know, this, what I'm saying is, you couldn't get a driver's license without your birth certificate, don't carry a car. You're so woven up. You got a telephone number, address, social security number. You got all kinds of accounts, everything. You can't do nothing without being on the grid. For, when they say getting off the grid, you'd have to be like up in Alaska, out in the mountains, literally with no cell phone. Because if you have any communication device that's sending out or receiving a signal, you're on the grid. Yeah. You're a fucking robotic slave. You're going to wake up every morning on time, get your breakfast on time, get to work on time. Whatever it is you do, you're going to fucking do it like you always do until somebody pulls you out of 